tunnels in today's video are the longest in the world. Engineers had to overcome mind-boggling challenges and conquer difficult geographical barriers in order to complete their construction. These tunnels connect distant regions together and facilitate enormous economic development. So for today's video, join me. We're gonna count down the top 15 longest tunnels in the world. Let's start with number 15, the Guadarrama Tunnel. All right, we're heading over to Spain. The Guadarrama Tunnel, also known as the Guadarrama Rail Tunnel, is a significant infrastructure project located in Spain. It stretches beneath the Sierra de Guadamara mountain range, and it connects the provinces of Madrid and Segovia. The tunnel serves as a crucial link for the high-speed rail line between Madrid and the north of Spain. Measuring approximately 17.6 miles long, the Guadarrama Tunnel is an engineering marvel. It's composed of hard granite, which made the excavation process all the more difficult. These TBMs, they're massive machines equipped with cutting tools that grind through the rock as they advance, plowing through the granite and ripping it to shreds in the process. The tunnel was completed in 2007, and it opened for commercial service in 2009. The history of this tunnel is intertwined with Spain's efforts to modernize its railway infrastructure and enhance connectivity between the major cities. The project aimed to improve travel times and increase passenger and freight transport efficiency. But by bypassing the challenging terrain of the Sierra de Guadamara, the tunnel eliminates the need for trains to navigate steep gradients, reducing travel time significantly. This tunnel isn't just one of the longest of its kind in the world, but it's the longest railway tunnel in Spain, and it allows high-speed trains to operate at speeds of up to 186 miles an hour. All right, number 14, the lochberg based tunnel. You can find this tunnel in Switzerland, running beneath the Lochberg Mountain in the Bernese Alps. It's a railway tunnel that spans approximately 21 miles long, and it was constructed using a combination of drilling and blasting methods, as well as the use of massive tunnel boring machines. The difficulty in digging this tunnel stemmed from the challenging geology in the region, which included a mix of hard rock formations and areas with high water pressure. These conditions required extensive planning and engineering solutions to ensure stability and safety during the process. One false move, one miscalculation, and it could be all over. The construction of the tunnel took nearly a decade, from 1999 to 2007, involving the efforts of thousands of workers. Today, this tunnel serves as an essential link in the Swiss rail network. It facilitates the transportation of both passenger and freight trains, improving connectivity, reducing travel times between these regions, and it brings in much-needed commerce. The total cost of this tunnel construction amounted to approximately 4 billion Swiss francs. So today, the lochberg based tunnel continues to serve as a vital transport artery, contributing efficient rail connections in Switzerland, and it significantly improved transportation capacity, reliability, and convenience for passengers and freight in the region, promoting economic growth and sustainable mobility. Number 13, the Mount Frages Tunnel. Let's embark on an exciting journey through the Mount Frages Tunnel. Now, located in the majestic Alps, the Mount Frages Tunnel connects France and Italy, serving as a vital link between Modane in France and Bardoneccia in Italy. The creation of this tunnel was an impressive endeavor, to say the least. To conquer the terrain, engineers employed both traditional drilling and blasting techniques, along with state-of-the-art TBMs. Explosives were indeed used to carve through the stubborn rock, blasting away obstacles with calculated precision. Once these holes were in place, the tunnel builders filled them up with a carefully measured amount of dynamite and then let the boring machines go to town. The tunnel stretches approximately 8.5 miles beneath the mighty alpine peaks, overcoming steep gradients and treacherous geological formations. The construction of the tunnel took several years to complete, too, from 1974 to 1980, and today the tunnel serves as a vital transportation artery, accommodating a constant flow of vehicles and trains. It plays a significant role in facilitating trade, too, and tourism, and travel between France and Italy, making it a key driver of economic activity in the region. As for cost, this tunnel required a substantial financial investment. The construction process amounted to around 5 billion French francs at the time. However, the economic benefits generated by the tunnel, such as increased trade and tourism, it far outweighed its initial cost, making it quite literally worth their while. Number 12, the Lairdal Tunnel. Welcome on to the Lairdal Tunnel. Buckle up and get ready for an exhilarating ride through this tunnel. It's nestled in the scenic landscapes of Norway. This terrific tunnel is a true marvel that is gonna leave you spellbound. It's situated in Arland, a municipality blessed with breathtaking natural beauty. This remarkable tunnel was constructed to improve transportation links and to ensure safer travel on the E16 road, connecting Norway's eastern and western regions. Now, let's dive into the process of its creation. 
The tunnel's construction involved a combination of cutting-edge techniques and good old-fashioned perseverance. Skilled workers utilized drilling, blasting, and excavation methods to carve a path through the mountainous terrain. Explosives did play a crucial role, blasting through stubborn rocks and making way for progress. The entire project took around five years to complete, and the tunnel came with a hefty price tag, amounting to approximately one billion Norwegian kroner. Digging the tunnel was no small feat. It spans an impressive 15.2 miles, making it one of the longest road tunnels in the world. Today, the Lairdal Tunnel serves as a vital transportation artery, enabling smoother travel between Norway's east and west. It significantly improved connectivity and safety, offering a faster and more reliable route for both commuters and tourists. Number 11. The Delaware Aqueduct Let's dive into the fascinating world of the Delaware Aqueduct. It's an impressively long waterway nestled beneath the picturesque landscapes of the United States. Located in the northeastern part of the country, the Delaware Aqueduct stretches across the states of New York and Pennsylvania. It holds the distinguished honor of being the longest tunnel in the world that carries water. But just how long is it then? Well, the aqueduct has a staggering length of about 85 miles. That's like traveling from one city to another all within the confines of an underground water slide. The history of the Delaware Aqueduct is a tale of wild ambition. Its construction began in 1937, and it lasted for almost 14 years. The purpose? To provide reliable water supply to the ever-growing thirst of New York City. This aqueduct was a vital part of the city's ambitious plans to secure water from the Catskill Mountains region. But how was this monumental feat accomplished? Well, engineers and workers employed various techniques to create this conduit. They used a combination of drilling, blasting, and excavation methods to navigate through solid rock in challenging conditions. The aqueduct was constructed with a horseshoe-shaped tunnel design, ensuring stability and efficiency in water transport. Using what was at the time state-of-the-art technology, which may seem a bit rudimentary nowadays. Now let's talk numbers. The construction cost of the Delaware Aqueduct amounted to a staggering $94 million. It was a considerable investment in securing a reliable water supply for one of the largest cities in the world. The aqueduct continues to play a vital role today. It carries approximately half of New York City's daily water supply, delivering this precious resource to millions of people. It ensures that faucets continue to flow, showers remain refreshing, and the city's thirst is quenched. And if you've ever tasted the tap water in New York City, then you'll know it's some of the best tasting tap in the world. The Delaware Aqueduct is a hidden underground giant that sustains the bustling metropolis above. Number 10. Tunnel Emisor Oriente All right, hold your nose and get ready to explore the Tunnel Emisor Oriente, a wastewater tunnel in Mexico that is as crucial as it is, well, kind of gross. This tunnel is located in Mexico City, and it stretches approximately 38.5 miles beneath the city's urban fabric, navigating its way through a maze of underground pathways. So what exactly does this wastewater tunnel do? Well, it serves as a vital conduit, collecting and channeling the city's less than pleasant liquid waste away from populated areas. By doing so, it prevents contamination of water bodies, reduces the risk of diseases, and it contributes to a healthier environment for both humans and aquatic life. With a population of over 9 million people in the eastern part of the city alone, the tunnel plays a crucial role in ensuring the proper collection and transportation of wastewater from this densely populated area. Now, let's wade into the history of this fascinating tunnel. Construction began in 2008, but the story starts much earlier. As Mexico City's population started to grow, so did the challenge of managing wastewater effectively. The Tunnel Emisor Oriente emerged as a crucial solution to this pressing issue, aiming to transport wastewater from the eastern part of the city to a treatment plant. Imagine the millions of people who rely on this tunnel for a cleaner and healthier city. It's an essential lifeline for the population, ensuring that wastewater is properly managed and doesn't pose a threat to public health or the environment. So in a way, one could say it's a superhero of sanitation, saving the day one flush at a time. Now let's talk about the less pleasant part, the cost. The construction of this tunnel came with a substantial price tag, amounting to approximately 14.8 billion Mexican pesos. But one thing's for sure, if you ever find yourself in gorgeous Mexico City, don't drink the water. The tunnel doesn't filter out contagions and pathogens in the city's water. Always buy bottled. Number 9. Beijing Subway Line A big city can feel like a living, 
breathing entity. The subway system is the veins underneath the concrete skin, and the trains act as the lifeblood, carrying human-sized blood cells into the heart of the city and pumping them back out at the end of the workday. In Beijing, the subway line plays as a crucial transportation artery in the city and in China. Get ready to uncover its length, history, significance, and some intriguing facts along the way. Let's begin. The Beijing subway line tunnel spans an impressive length of 372 miles, weaving its way through the bustling streets and neighborhoods of the city. It's a vast network of tunnels that connects various parts of the city, providing convenient transportation for its residents and its visitors. The history of the tunnel dates back to 1965, when the first line, Line 1, was opened. Since then, the subway system has expanded significantly, with multiple lines crisscrossing and zigzagging their way through the city. The construction of these lines has been a continuous effort to meet the growing transportation need of Beijing. Now, speaking of population, Beijing is home to over 21 million people, making it one of the most populous cities in the world. The subway tunnel sees a staggering number of passengers pass through each day. On average, 12 million people ride the Beijing subway, making it one of the busiest subway systems in the world. Imagine the hustle and bustle of millions of people commuting through these tunnels each day. The construction of this subway line tunnel has been a continuous endeavor, expanding and evolving over the years, and it's taken decades to build an extensive subway network that exists today. The cost of constructing the subway line tunnel and the entire subway system is significant, reflecting the scale and complexity of the project. While specific cost figures may vary depending on the time frame and various factors, the investment in building such a vast subway network runs into the billions of dollars. Number 8. The LEP Tunnel all right, buckle up for an electrifying journey into the world of the LEP Tunnel, a unique and remarkable underground structure that pushes the boundaries of scientific research and tunnels. The LEP Tunnel, also known as the Large Electron-Positron Collider, is situated beneath the Franco-Swiss border near Geneva in Switzerland. It served as a crucial component of the European Organization for Nuclear Research Particle Accelerator Project, what makes this tunnel truly extraordinary is the purpose. It houses the collider, an enormous circular particle accelerator used to study the fundamental building blocks of matter and the forces that govern them. And this groundbreaking research helped expand our understanding of the universe itself. In terms of size, the LEP tunnel extends over a staggering 17 miles in circumference, making it one of the largest scientific structures of its kind. The tunnel formed a ring beneath the Earth's surface, where highly energetic particles would race around at nearly the speed of light, colliding and creating new particles in the process. The history of this tunnel dates back to the late 1970s, when planning and construction efforts began. The tunnel was excavated between 1983 and 1988, involving an international team of scientists, engineers, and workers who tirelessly worked to bring this ambitious project to life. The construction and development of the particle accelerator required substantial financial investment too. While specific cost figures vary, it's safe to say the project involved significant funding from various sources, reflecting the importance and complexity of the research being conducted here. While the LEP tunnel was decommissioned in the year 2000 to make way for the construction of the even larger Large Hadron Collider, its legacy lives on in the annals of scientific achievement. The tunnel and the accelerator it housed played a vital role in groundbreaking discoveries, including the observation of the elusive Higgs boson particle. Let's move on to number seven, the smart tunnel. All right, we're gonna get smart. The smart tunnel is an innovative engineering marvel that tackles flood management and transportation challenges in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. The Smart Tunnel, short for Storm Water Management and Road Tunnel, is situated in Kuala Lumpur, the vibrant capital of Malaysia. This multifunctional tunnel stretches approximately six miles beneath the city, serving both as a road tunnel and a flood mitigation system. On a typical day in Kuala Lumpur, the Smart Tunnel operates primarily as a road tunnel, providing a crucial transportation link for vehicles traveling between the southern and northern parts of the city. However, during periods of heavy rainfall, it transforms into a state-of-the-art flood management system. Building something like this was a massive undertaking, one of the largest the country had ever seen. The tunnel features an innovative dual-purpose design with a lower level dedicated to stormwater management. The level consists of three stormwater storage tanks, capable of holding up to one and a half million cubic meters of excess water during heavy rains. When rainfall reaches a certain threshold, the floodgates close, diverting water into the stormwater storage tanks instead of allowing it to inundate the city's streets. 
This smart tunnel effectively reduces the risk of flash floods, safeguarding the city and its residents from potential damage and inconvenience. The tunnel project was initiated in 2003 and it was completed in 2007, marking a significant milestone in Malaysia's infrastructure. The construction cost of the tunnel amounted to about 1.9 billion Malaysian ringgit. Since its completion, the smart tunnel has proven instrumental in significantly reducing the frequency and severity of flash floods, protecting the city's infrastructure, businesses, and homes from water-related disasters. The tunnel's ability to manage stormwater had a profound impact on the quality of life of Kuala Lumpur's residents. It ensures smoother traffic flow during normal conditions, yeah, but it also keeps the city safe. Humans know all too well the power of a natural disaster, and the smart tunnel has proven to be a genius piece of Malaysian infrastructure. Number 6. Dao Ho Fong Water Tunnel the Dao Ho Fong Water Tunnel is located in northeastern China, specifically in the Liaoning province. It plays a crucial role in supplying water to the surrounding regions, particularly the cities of Shenyang and Anshan. Without it, these places would run dry, basically. The region requires a water tunnel like this one due to several factors, including limited local water resources and the need to ensure a stable and reliable water supply. We all can't live near water, and so by tapping into the water resources of this reservoir through the tunnel, the region can overcome water scarcity challenges, and it can support its development and sustainability. The tunnel has an impressive capacity. On average, millions of cubic meters of water pass through it, ensuring a reliable supply to the cities. In terms of size, this tunnel stretches over a considerable distance too, covering approximately 53 miles in length. It is a significant engineering feat that involves the construction of a large underground passage to facilitate water transportation, and it's got an astonishing capacity to transport approximately 100 million cubic meters of water annually. The construction of this tunnel began in the late 1990s, and it was completed in 2008. To build it, engineers faced challenges of navigating through mountains and rocky areas, and they employed advanced tunneling techniques to excavate the tunnel, utilizing both traditional methods and modern machinery. That means when the tunnel boring machines couldn't get through, engineers used some good old-fashioned dynamite to clear the path. It was certainly tough to build, but the tunnel has earned plenty of merits over the years. In fact, this water tunnel has been honored with several awards, highlighting its innovative design, construction techniques, and its impact on the region. Number 5. The Seikan Tunnel Get ready to dive into the fascinating world of the Seikan Tunnel, an engineering marvel that connects the islands of Honshu and Hokkaido in Japan. It was built with precision and determination. The tunnel has plenty of cool facts to impress you too. Constructed between 1971 and 1988, the Seikan Tunnel is a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. It stretches an impressive 33.4 miles, earning its place as the longest undersea tunnel in the world. But its length is not the only impressive feature. It's the captivating journey it offers that truly sets it apart. The Seikan Tunnel takes you on a mesmerizing ride through the Tsugaru Strait, a treacherous stretch of water known for its fierce currents and harsh weather. About 14 and a half miles of the tunnel lie beneath these unforgiving waters, making it an undersea adventure like no other. Venturing into the tunnel, you'll experience the incredible dual board design. One tunnel is dedicated to trains, providing smooth and efficient passage for commuters traveling between Honshu and Hokkaido. The other serves as an access route for maintenance and emergency purposes, ensuring the tunnel's continuous operation and safety. Beyond the functional purpose, the Seikon Tunnel has become an iconic tourist attraction. Visitors flock to experience the awe-inspiring train journey through this feat of engineering brilliance. It's also played a pivotal role in boosting economic growth by facilitating the movement of goods, people, and tourism between Honshu and Hokkaido. Number 4. The Channel Tunnel Not just one of the longest, but the Channel Tunnel is one of the most impressive in the world. All right, let's dive into some fun and fact-based paragraphs about the Channel Tunnel, also known as the Chunnel, which connects the United Kingdom and France. The Chunnel is a true engineering marvel that stretches beneath the English Channel, linking Folkestone and Kent in England to Calais in France. It boasts an impressive length of about 31.3 miles, making it the longest underwater tunnel in the world. This remarkable infrastructure composes of three tunnels, the northbound tunnel, the southbound tunnel, and a smaller service tunnel for maintenance and emergencies. These tunnels allow for the smooth and efficient transit of trains between UK and France. And traveling through the tunnel is a thrilling experience. High-speed Eurostar trains zip through the tunnel at speeds of up to 100 miles an hour. They carry passengers between London, Paris, and Brussels. 
In just a matter of minutes, passengers are transported across borders, making international travel more convenient than ever. The construction of the Channel Tunnel was a monumental endeavor that required extensive planning and expertise. Engineers had to dig through layers of chalk and clay under the seabed, employing enormous tunnel boring machines to create a stable and secure passage for trains. The project involved teams from both the French and English sides working tirelessly to meet in the middle. Since its opening in 1994, the Channel Tunnel has transformed travel between the UK and mainland Europe. As trains zip through this tunnel, passengers get a fleeting glimpse of the underwater world of the English Channel. For a brief moment, they're immersed in darkness surrounded by the mysteries of the deep. The tunnel operates round the clock, ensuring a constant flow of trains, too. It's become a bustling hub of activity, and the tunnel's impact on transportation, trade, and cultural exchange is immense, leaving an indelible mark on both the physical and metaphorical landscapes of Europe. So the next time you embark on a journey through the channel, take a moment to appreciate the incredible feat of engineering and the remarkable connection it provides between the UK and France. It is a testament to human innovation, bringing people closer together across borders and beneath the waves of the English Channel. Number 3. The Yulian Tunnel Deep in the captivating landscapes of South Korea lies a hidden gem of engineering wonder, the Yulian Tunnel. This tunnel is shrouded in mystery and allure. It boasts an array of fascinating facts and impressive stats that will transport you into a world of subterranean marvels, stretching over 12 and a half miles beneath the picturesque terrain of the Korean Peninsula. The Yulian Tunnel serves as a vital artery of transportation. It was completed in the year 2000, and it connects the city of Daegu and Busan, offering a seamless passage for commuters and travelers alike. The construction of this tunnel was no small endeavor. Engineers and workers tirelessly toiled for over six years, employing cutting-edge tunneling techniques and machinery to carve their way through the rugged, mountainous terrain. The result was a triumph of human ingenuity, a subterranean masterpiece, if you will, that now stands as the longest double-track railway tunnel in South Korea. This tunnel is not just a feat of engineering, but it's also a testament to safety and efficiency. Advanced safety systems are integrated into its design, including fire suppression mechanisms, emergency evacuation routes, and state-of-the-art ventilation systems to ensure a secure and comfortable environment for passengers and workers. It is worth noting that the tunnel is not just a mundane passage for transportation. It is a gateway to breathtaking views and natural wonders. Along the route, you'll be treated to a picturesque glimpse of South Korea's stunning landscapes, its rolling hills, lush forests, and scenic vistas. The tunnel also plays a crucial role in promoting sustainable transportation. By providing a reliable railway connection, it helps reduce congestion on roads and lowers carbon emissions. This commitment to eco-friendly transport does align with South Korea's broader initiatives to create a greener and more sustainable future. Since its opening, the tunnel has become an integral part of South Korea's railway network. It serves as a lifeline, facilitating the movement of passengers and goods between Daegu and Busan, and its capacity to accommodate high-speed trains ensures a swift and efficient journey. Number 2. Payane Water Tunnel in the enchanting land of Finland, nestled amidst the pristine landscapes and shimmering lakes, lies a hidden gem of an engineering marvel, the Payane Water Tunnel. Stretching its watery path for a staggering 75 miles, this tunnel transports fresh water from Lake Payane, Finland's second largest lake, to the bustling capital city of Helsinki. The entire waterway sits 380 feet below the surface and ensures a constant and reliable supply of water to Helsinki. It's got a capacity of delivering an impressive 68 million gallons of water per day. The tunnel is often hailed as a liquid lifeline. It was born out of necessity. The ever-growing population and increasing demand for clean water in Helsinki prompted the construction of this tunnel. With Finland's deep appreciation for nature, it was essential to find a solution that would preserve the ecological balance while meeting the water needs of the capital. The tale of the tunnel begins in 1982 when construction commenced. A team of dedicated engineers armed with vision and expertise embarked on an underground odyssey. They were armed with tunnel boring machines and sheer determination. They carved their way through the rugged Finnish bedrock, patiently creating a subterranean passage that would quench Helsinki's thirst. It took over a decade to complete this monumental undertaking, and it was finally inaugurated in 1996, making it a triumph of human ingenuity and engineering prowess. 
Descending into the depths of this water tunnel is kind of an otherworldly experience. As you venture into the cool embrace of the tunnel's depths, you're immersed in a labyrinth of concrete-lined corridors surrounded by gentle murmurs of the water flowing through the dark passage. This sense of awe is palpable as you witness this marvel of human achievement, where nature's lifeblood courses silently beneath your feet. The Payane water tunnel not only quenches Helsinki's thirst, but also brings a myriad of benefits. The pristine water from this lake, renowned for its purity, flows effortlessly through the tunnel, ensuring a continuous supply of clean water to the capital. This is a sustainable solution. It reduces the strain on local water sources and preserves the delicate ecosystems surrounding the region. As you stand in awe of this engineering wonder, it is not hard to marvel at the foresight and innovation that brought it to life. This water tunnel exemplifies Finland's harmonious relationship with nature and its commitment to providing a sustainable future for its people. Number 1. The Gotthard Base Tunnel Beneath the yodels of the Swiss Alps lies the remarkable Gotthard Base Tunnel, an engineering masterpiece that has captured the world's imagination. It's situated in Switzerland. This tunnel stretches an impressive 57 kilometers or 35 and a half miles beneath the Gotthard Massif, connecting the northern and southern parts of the country. The history of this tunnel can be traced back to the early 20th century, when the idea of a tunnel through the Gotthard mountain range was first conceived. However, it wasn't until 1992 that the Swiss electorate voted in favor of the project, giving it the green light. Construction officially began in 1996, and after nearly two decades of intensive work, the tunnel was inaugurated on June 1, 2016. Building the Gotthard Base Tunnel was a monumental task. It required cutting-edge techniques and equipment. Tunnel boring machines were the heroes when it came to excavating this thing, specifically designed to carve through the challenging rock formations of the Alps. These massive machines, some as long as 1,300 feet, bore their way through the mountain, creating the smooth and efficient passageway that we see today. The size of that equipment used in the construction of this tunnel was pretty amazing. The TBMs, also known as Mole, weighed up to 2,500 tons, and they were equipped with multiple rotating cutting heads. They were designed to excavate the rock and transport it out of the tunnel simultaneously, ensuring a continuous progression. The construction of the tunnel came with a pretty significant price tag, too. The estimated cost for the entire project, including infrastructure and safety measures, amounted to about 12.8 billion US dollars. This massive investment was deemed necessary to enhance transportation efficiency and bolster the connectivity of the northern and southern parts of Switzerland. In fact, many of the locals helped to chip in as they voted for a brief increase in their taxes to help fund the tunnel. That is community engagement at the highest level. While the Goddard Base Tunnel is primarily designed for railway transportation, it also accommodates emergency exits, maintenance facilities, and service tunnels. These provisions ensure safety in the tunnel, allowing for efficient operations and rapid response in case of emergencies. Access to the tunnel is restricted to authorized personnel responsible for its operation, maintenance, and safety. However, the tunnel's inauguration was celebrated with a grand event that allowed the public to experience its magnificence firsthand. Visitors were able to explore sections of the tunnel, gaining some insights into the construction and appreciating the engineering feat and accomplishment beneath the mountains. The primary purpose of this Gotthard Base Tunnel is to enhance transportation connectivity. It significantly reduced travel times, with high-speed trains now reaching speeds of up to 155 miles an hour. The tunnel plays a pivotal role linking northern and southern Europe, facilitating trade, tourism, and of course, cultural exchange. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you to our channel members.